Hello, today we're going to be going over the problem speeding ticket in the 2015 December bronze contest. So a brief overview of the problem is that there is a road um, exactly 100 miles long and the road is divided into n segments. Each segment um, has a specific speed limit and Bessie drives across this road um, in M segments and each of the M segments has a specific speed that she dro drove over the road. And so we're trying to find the maximum amount over the speed limit that Bessie travels um, over the road. So yeah, um, each of the segments can be different lengths. So yeah, if you look at the sample input, um, three is so n is 3, which means that there are 3 segments that the road is divided in based on speed limit. And then m is 3, so the road is divided into 3 segments based on the speed Bessie traveled at. So, um, so the first three, 3 lines, or the first n lines, um, we have... Uh, I guess the first 40 miles of the road has a speed limit of 75. And then the, the next 50 miles has a speed limit of 35. And then, then the, for the final 10 miles has a speed limit of 45. And then the next M lines or three lines, Bessie drives over the first 40 miles at 76 miles per hour. And then she drives over the next 20 miles at 30 miles per hour and then the next the final 40 hours at 40 miles per hour so uh, based on these values we're trying to find you know the maximum difference or I guess amounts maximum amount over the speed limit Bessie travels so I guess if we just compare it manually the first 40 um, Miles, the speed limit is 75, but Bessie drives the first 40 at 76, so the maximum amount over the speed limit she drives is 1 mile per hour. And then if you look at the next 50 miles per hour, I mean, sorry, the next 50 miles, it, they have a speed limit of 35, but Bessie drives the next 20 miles at 30 miles per hour. So I guess you could say that the next 20 miles or from 40 to 60 miles Bessie drives under the speed limit um, but then Bessie drives the final 40 hour mile mile sorry at 40 miles per hour so if we see here the the speed limit is still 35 um, until 90 miles as 40 plus 50 is 90 but Bessie is driving at 40 miles per hour starting from the 60 mile segment and so 40 is greater than 35 obviously by 5 and so the current greatest amount over the speed limit she has driven is 5 and then the final 10 miles the speed limit is 45 and that's greater than the speed Bessie travels at so the final answer is just 5 yeah so I guess the solution is we're just gonna make an array of size 100 since 100 is a pretty small number and then we're going to record the speed limit um, at each um, index of the 100 miles and then compare it with the speeds Bessie drives at and then we'll just have like an answer and take the maximum difference um, while comparing each index in the 100 length array. Yeah, so we'll just get started coding.
Okay, so, so far what I've basically done is I basically said that we're going to be reading the input from this file and then we're going to be writing it on the output file. And then I inputted N and M. Um, this array right here is the 100 length array that will keep track of the speed limit. Um, if you're wondering why I always <coughs> put like 5 extra for all my arrays is that, you know, just in case uh, we do go over, we don't run into any segmentation faults or anything, or array out of bounds. Okay, and then next we're just going to input the um, speed limits. Um, here, basically, um, we loop through n times, and then we input the length of the segment in x, and then the speed limit in y, and then we're going to iterate x times, and then put in the speed limit. So basically, since we want to keep track of <coughs> the speed limit at every um, index of the road, um, we're just going to you know, loop through x times and then um, at it plus j, which means that, um, sorry, no, sorry. Uh, we're basically keeping track of it so that, you know, if we look at the input, initially it's 40. So when it's 40, we don't have to really keep track of the array indexing, but when it gets to 50, we're already starting at 40, so it will just keep track of what, I guess, the previous road segment ended at. And yeah, so we do it plus um, j, and then we, uh, we store the speed limit. And then at the end, we just increment it by the segment of the road. We just iterate it through. <clears throat> and then Next, we're going to input um, Bessie speeds in the segment lengths, and then we're just going to compare it on the spot. And yeah, so. So essentially we've done the same exact thing as above, except that um, we're now looping through m times, and instead of storing it into an array, we're basically comparing Bessie's speed and then the speed limit at the road. And then <clears throat> we're seeing if that difference is greater than our current answer. Um, and since answer we declared as a public variable, it's automatically set to zero. And so anytime Bessie drives under the speed limit, the answer is just zero. And anytime it's greater than, it'll check if, if it's greater than the current answer and then change it if it is. And then we can just print the answer. So we'll just submit it. And yeah, so that is the speeding ticket. Uh, thank you for watching.